Hello and welcome to this course. I'm going to kick us off by giving you some of the most important pieces of information that you need to get through and learn and gain some deep understandings of diversity. The first question is, what is diversity and why is it important? I'm going to tackle us by looking at these three concentric circles right here on your left hand side. You exist in connection to other people so that you have you in the center and then on the outside you have your immediate family or relationships whether those be friends or family so you exist in connection to those people however they exist in connection to others as well and so you have yourself your family and then your broader society now why this is important is because you act in ways as we all do to shape the outcomes of your close connections as they do for you right you act to shape those outcomes and in turn those people are shaping the outcomes of the society right so i'll give you an example in places where people come up with an amazing idea they share it with their family and sometimes that idea can ultimately lead to global governmental changes right and so that's the impact that you as an individual can have on the close connections around you and ultimately the society around you however in the same way the society shapes the ways in which our close connections operate and those close connections in turn shape the way we operate so think about perhaps growing up how certain things that you do were put inside of you or um, you learned those habits and techniques from those closest to you. But the truth is that many of them learned those same things from others. And so that's how the society and the individual relate to each other. The reason why diversity is so important is because understanding the way these things operate can make us more effective and can help us understand ourselves that much better. Understanding diversity and bringing a deeper understanding of yourself and how you your experience of being influenced and shaped from the family and society can help you be incredibly successful at work and can help you build stronger family relationships. And so that is one of the core reasons why diversity is important. It's the ways in which we can operate in the world which is made up of multiple people of different perspectives and how we can be both culturally sensitive affirming and in the workplace productive so with that information let's talk a little bit about some diversity myths these are some of the key things that people say often about diversity and these might be on your mind before you're getting started in this course i'm going to debunk them right here and the rest of the course I'm going to do is spend time with you working through some of the main components. So I hope you're excited. Myth number one, diversity only applies to women and minorities. Okay, let's debunk this. Diversity is not only about certain groups. Think about uh, a man, for example, like myself. I am both a middle class man I exist in a city and not a rural area. I have a certain religion. I am of a certain age. I speak a certain language. I um, have a certain nationality. And each of these things makes me diverse in certain places, makes me different in certain places. Therefore, because I have these differences, and so do you, diversity applies to all of us, right? It doesn't just apply to certain groups of people. So that's myth number one, debunked. Myth number two, diversity is a new phenomenon. Diversity is not a new phenomenon. If you look at the world map, we have over 8.5 billion people in this world. All of them are different and have strengths in different areas, right? And so diversity is not a new phenomenon. We're just talking about it in a way that is inclusive, in a way that brings people together. In the past, if you think about the history of colonialism and slavery, there has been a very big push to push out any kinds of difference. And what diversity is doing is naming the fact that the reality is that we have a lot of difference.
already. Okay, so that's myth two, debunked. Myth three, diversity equals deficiency. This is probably one of the biggest myths. Diversity is actually a strength. Think about the fact that when you have people of diverse backgrounds on a team, the creativity, the adaptability, and the innovation increases dramatically. Once you learn the skills to communicate, to understand the ways in which culture operates, you can then use those skills in a productive way to produce outcomes. The problems in the world have been created by a certain mindset, and it takes diversity to shift that mindset and create new solutions. So that's where myth three debunked. Myth four, diversity equals divisiveness. It is not diversity that equals divisiveness. It is the way we approach diversity that divides us. Through this course, you will learn skills to bring you together, to make sure that diversity is actually inclusiveness, that diversity is actually a strength. And so divisiveness comes from the way in which we interpret difference. Inclusiveness comes from the way we embrace difference. Number five, diversity is to be feared. Once again, diversity, difference. We are all different in multiple ways. I listed a number of them in the beginning of the slide. If we were ostracized or um, oppressed based on all the different identities we would have, 8.5 billion people would be living in isolation. The truth is, diversity is something to be embraced. It is something to be um, utilized as a strength, and our human capacity can be exponentially accelerated based on the ways in which we, we deal with each other and the ways in which we work together. So myth five, completely debunked. In the next parts of this course, we're going to be diving into the diversity and leadership. We're going to be looking at anti-bias training. We're going to be looking at ways in which you can transform your organization to be inclusive, to bring people together, to be productive members of society, and to have some fun along the way. I hope you are enjoying this course so far, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.